Hello there, this is your update from the BBC Sports Centre. Some news to disappoint Manchester City fans to start with. Their treble winning captain Ilkay Gundogan has left to join Barcelona on a free transfer. So let's take a look then at Gundogan's success under Pep Guardiola since joining from Borussia Dortmund in 2016. He was Guardiola's first signing for the club. Five Premier Leagues, two FA Cups and of course that famous Champions League victory in the season just gone. He was also a League Cup winner on four occasions too, the first of which came back in 2018. A real statement from Mexico at the CONCACAF Gold Cup after beating Honduras 4-0 in their opening group game. Luis Romo scored twice, the first after just a minute as the most successful side in the competition looked to win back the title from the USA. Earlier, Haiti beat Qatar 2-1 with a stoppage time winner. Qatar playing in the tournament for the second time after making their debut in 2021. And Trinidad beat St. Kitts and Nevis 2, three goals to nil. The tournament will be played in 15 stadiums across 14 cities in the US and Canada. Now, Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are expanding their sport portfolio with an investment in Formula One. The pair, of course, famously bought Welsh football club Wrexham and got them promoted back to the English Football League last season. Now they're part of a group investing in British-based Alpine Racing. The team's parent company, Renault, announced the sale of a 24% stake on Monday morning. Golf now in China's Ruining Yin won the Women's PGA Championship with an incredible birdie winner. On... Yeah, what a win for her. And Keegan Bradley secured his sixth PGA title after victory in the Travelers Championship in Connecticut. The American cricket now in Australia are closing in on victory against England in the Women's, women's Ashes Test at Trent Bridge. Australia need just three more wickets after taking two in the opening hour of the morning session. England resumed on 116 for five. And they're now 157 for seven, chasing 268 to win, which would be the highest chase in women's test history. Ash Gardner has five wickets for Australia. The winner takes four points then in this multi-format series. West Indies are taking on the Netherlands as part of the ongoing qualification for this year's Men's Cricket World Cup. They scored uh, 374 for six in the one-day match in Harare. Nicolas Puran surpassed 100, uh, finishing on 104 not out. The West Indies come into this having lost to Zimbabwe, level with the Netherlands in the group who beat Nepal in their previous match. And Zimbabwe can make it four wins out of four if they beat the USA. They made 408 for six off their 50 overs, mainly thanks to Sean Williams' huge score of 174. The American team have lost all three of their matches so far and will be up against it uh, when they start their run chase shortly. Now, the first Olympic eSports winners have been crowned in Singapore. It was the first... And what a mark it is. Uh, that is just about it from us, though. You can, of course, get all the latest on the BBC Sport website, including that culmination to the women's Ashes test between England and Australia. We'll be back with more later on. We'll see you then.